everyone and welcome to Letty Does Marvel's Runaways. So, in the last episode, we see that Alex has been working for Darius, um, initially to get more money, but then it was to get closer to this girl who may or may not be Darius's daughter. I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, they're working together and Darius is paying him and you think that everything is okay, uh, between Alex and Darius, but actually Darius sells out Alex to his own father. So we're going to have to see the repercussions of that, uh, in this episode. And then, um, as for the rest of the Runaways, they are trying to make the house that they found inside of the hill uh, more of a home. And Chase is trying to get the power working. Meanwhile, uh, Nico says that she's going to go get the Staff of One. I forgot exactly why, but yeah, she wanted it back. So they go to Nico's house to get the staff of one. And it turns out that Nico's parents are already there. So her father tries talking to her and telling her that all they want is for her to come home. And then Nico goes outside to the backyard and sees Tina with the staff of one who basically challenges Nico to a duel. The winner will get the staff of one. Um, but when, uh, la, 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 what's her name? Molly gets trapped under the ice layering their swimming pool and Tina hurts Carolina. She basically just like attacks her mother with emotions and brings up her dead sister again. So, uh, Tina gives up the staff of one and basically it's very dangerous because her husband says that if they knew what it did to Tina, then imagine what it would do to Nico who is younger than her, and whatever that means. Um, but yeah, basically, Nico immediately like lashes out at Carolina, and she seems to have taken charge over at the house because Alex and Chase were arguing about who was going to be in charge. I guess now it's Nico showing that initiative. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to affect her and Carolina's relationship other than they might not have one by the end of the season, but I guess we will see. Marvel's Runaways Season 2, Episode 3. I can't remember. I always forget double zeros. Ah! Ah, because I was thinking, I keep thinking about what that means, but I don't like money? Like boobies? What are we talking here? Okay. Marvel's Runaways, Season 2, Episode 3, Double Zeros. Let's get started. <laughs> he needs to take off his glasses. <laughs> That's so funny. Something bad about to happen right now. Oh no, he's about to get betrayed. I wasn't. Oh, okay, so then I'm just crazy. No, I didn't say that either. Do you know what? A little bit right now. Yeah, Gertrude. Well, Molly, you don't know if that would work yet or not. Has to go into practice first. So either Alex is about to be set up so he can get arrested, or he's about to deliver it to his own dad. 
I don't know which is worse. Wow, that's fucked up. He was the package. This scene is so tense. Give me the damn phone, Alex. Is he gonna chuck it out the window? Oh, Nico is not the one on his phone? Dang. That's fucked up. Asshole. Ah! And I miss him too. They're gonna be disappointed when they see that he doesn't have a square head anymore. I got they wanted to start a small combustion in the engine? Together, all I need is a spark. Uh Okay. We have to hurry. Okay. Well, oh, what? Oh. You know, this lady just could have gotten a hologram machine if this is all she wanted. <laughs> They're kidnapping him like this. She can only use each spell once, is that what she said? Well, I'd say they work together pretty well in this instance. Oh, shit. Darius is the person that they're framing. Oh, that's so sad. We've known for a while. She's pretty hardcore. Jeffrey. Holy crap, this lady is so cutthroat. Aw, that's sad. Parents. No. Well, you know it because they told you, no? That's kind of sweet. Not really, though. You know, it sounds cliche, but we have each other. Wasn't he supposed to meet that other chick like tomorrow? Oh, okay. They're friends again. That's good. Oh, little one. Oh god, this gives me bad vibes. What's about to happen? Oh, okay. All right, so um, I thought this was a pretty good episode with like them showing off more of their powers and stuff and well, I mean You know, they're developing as a team and stuff and I think that's pretty cool But just as Alex comes back Just as he comes back that motherfucker strolls in. Now, I have no idea who this guy is. Maybe I'm supposed to know him, but like, is he, I don't know, Victor Mancha? I would, like, I was kind of wondering if they were gonna introduce Victor Mancha, but first of all, this just seems too soon in my opinion. Like, they literally just got their hideout, and this same episode got reunited as a team. So it's like, if they were to introduce Victor Mancha right now, I'd just be like, what? Um, but, I mean, if that's the type of, you know, conflict that they need right now, I guess, sure. But I have no idea who this guy is. Maybe he is the son of Ultron still. I don't know how. Um, but like, I don't know, he carries himself very robotically. And we're just gonna have to wait and see more on that. Um, 
So, let me think. I don't know. I'm pretty excited for the next couple of episodes out that they introduce this guy. And, I mean, I don't know his deal, but everything just stopped being rocky for them. Such a teen show. What a teen show. Anyway. Uh, aside from that, I mean, that's basically all the thoughts I have regarding this. I'm just gonna have to wait and see what happens next. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this episode. And that's all I got for you for now. So get out there, do all this stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey everyone, Letty here. Just trying on another outfit for my winter of workout wear try on haul, January 2020. And if you want to see me work out while wearing this pink golf outfit, you can go ahead and vote for it by checking out that video down there. Bye!